Wow, okay, I just completely destroyed the trailer. What the f are you kidding me? I cannot believe I just did that. I am such an idiot. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. So I screw up royally in this video. I got something nice, I bought something nice and destroyed it in essentially the first 200 yards of ownership. So before we get to the insanity of that problem, here's something that fixes problems. This is insane. This massive brick, the Fantic Aero Core Pump. This is a tire inflator, also doubles as a flashlight, many different colors and flashing for your hazards. Slap this in the back of your car, if it's right under a seat, anything like that, in the trunk, nice and compact, inflates your tires, built-in flashlight, and if you want to take it inside or for your car, it is an insanely powerful battery bank that provides juice for a very, very long time. Keep your cell phone, anything else, if it's any of these adapters, USB-C and USB, all of those taken care of for you here in one nice little package. It is heavy. I'm not, I mean, it's not inconvenient, but this is like, it's like a kettlebell. Heavy duty, and they do not skimp. It's priced insane for what you're getting here. And what's that? Oh no, my top tires deflated on my truck. I didn't totally do this just for the ad, but I'll tell you what, we do a lot of off-roading and whenever I'm not off-roading, I think we've all had this situation before. You head out to work in the morning and your tire's flat. It's a huge inconvenience. What am I going to do now? I'd spend a hundred dollars on a freaking tow truck. Your mind starts racing. You start making stupid decisions. Be self-reliant. This fixes a lot of problems. And whenever you have a tool in your arsenal that you can add and you can solve those problems, your life becomes more relaxed and you don't waste money. This thing has no problem filling up my chunky 35 TRX tires. So it's going to do great on your off-roader or your daily drive like your Toyota Camry, Honda Civic, F-150, whatever you got, this thing will take care of it. And unfortunately with this video, I'm probably gonna need it with the uh, the issues that we have. I got a special discount code in the description to get you an even better deal. Thank you, Fantic, for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for the support. Oh, what a mess. Gonna need some after storm cleanup. Sucks, I love this tree. It's out in my front yard, two huge branches snapped and it was already getting a little, little thin. And there's another little one right there. It's like frozen into the ground. It's not even attached to the top here. It's just frozen. Yeah, this sucks. That might be the end of uh, the good old tree here. It was responsible for this video. No damage to the side of the truck here. I ran into a bunch of little trees and bushes some brush right here in the skid plate. <laughs> no damage though, I cannot believe it. Oh my God, there's a lot more in here than I thought. At least my fins didn't break again. Anyway, that's the end of the snowstorm. Let's get all this cleaned up. I can't haul away all this junk with just my little truck, so we gotta go get our new purchase. And this, folks, is where our story goes from fun to sad. I was so excited to buy this trailer, finally taking delivery of it, and it's going to work immediately to help me out in my front yard here, getting rid of all the debris. And unfortunately, as soon as I picked it up, started driving away out of the driveway, leaving Mike's, uh, coming down the road. And I'm looking, I'm like, man, there was a lot of snow falling off of the back of the trailer. I mean, it is just like, it's just going everywhere. I'm like, this is good though. It gets all the snow and ice off and that way I don't have it driving down the road. It goes flying off and hits a car. It wasn't snow. It was smoke. My impression were that the trailer brakes were locked up. So scorched all four tires within like 200 yards, all four tires just gone. Oh no. You boys can tell me what's wrong with this picture here. So thank God it's just one wheel, not a huge deal because trailer brakes are pretty inexpensive and we can get this thing back home, get it fixed up and not just leave it on the side of the road overnight. And who knows what type of shenanigans Rich would pull if he found this thing. If all four would have been locked up like that, well, first off, I think I would have noticed a little bit sooner. And second off, I mean, that just drives the expenses through the roof. I'm mean, gonna be probably a thousand bucks. Maybe that's too much. Maybe around like $700 to replace all the wheels and tires. We're back, trailer didn't go flying down the hill, thank God. Got the tools. Jack, ratchet, socket, impact. Gonna try and get this stupid wheel off. Bad bearings, seize brakes, who knows? Let me know if you guys know. Oh. Holy smokes, that's crazy. That's a crazy amount of damage in just like 75 feet. Oh my God. I'll give the ZR2 credit though. I did not feel a thing. Like it just felt like I was towing a trailer. I mean, granted it's one wheel that's locked up, but still dang cords are showing. 
tires done. I saw this. I was like, man, that's it. It's all like little scuffs here. No, that's it. Tires wasted. And there's, I was like, maybe I can turn this around, like go around the block with it locked up just to get it back to the driveway, but it absolutely would have blown out. There's no way. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, I think we'll be good. I think. I was gonna just take it back to Mike's, but I think it might be a better idea to just take it over to the farm. My uh, my grandfather's farm stored over there, figure out what to do with it. Because if I take it back to his house, like then he doesn't have room for his new stuff. So tow mode, automatic start off, heated seats on, of course. Heat steering wheel, yellow seat belts. See how greasy and nasty my hands are? If you can't, they're nasty. These yellow seat belts somehow just wick away the dirt. They never get dirty. So if you guys are worried about that, don't worry, because uh, they don't get dirty. All right, here we go. Parking brake off, and here we go. Sounds good. Sounds good to me so far. All right, let's figure this problem out. Just take it slow, one step at a time. It's just like how Dave Ramsey says, it's baby steps. You gotta take baby steps to get out of debt. You gotta take baby steps to uh, figure out a uh, brake trailer that's seized up. Same method, right? I think we're good. Good little resting place. You guys remember the farm. A little bit of rust behind this stuff. Fenders are in decent shape, but we're gonna get this figured out. Got our chalked up though, spare tire up here. God, I just cannot believe how bad that is. So quickly that happened. Let's get this figured out. For right now, I'm gonna head home. Uh-oh, what's that? <laughs> UFC Fight 717 brought to you by Hellawella Hotshot, who can be responsible. Kicking off tonight's action, we have the heavyweight bout here with the GMC AT4X with an incredible reach of over 500 miles, locking in at over 8,000 pounds. And tonight's take home purse, $50,000 in cash. This is it, boys. GMC AT4X, but not just any AT4X. It's the AEV Bison Edition. We're talking Duramax engine with the AEV package, and it's the AT4X. Imagine my Colorado ZR2, but on steroids. A 2500 HD off roading truck, and guess what? We're giving it away. Chevy knocked it out of the park, something so unexpected but needed. And now is your chance to win it by buying any one of our products on the website because right now we're doing times 100 entries. Springtime's coming up, this is the time of year to get jump started, motivated, get after it. Brand new truck plus free money. How can you go wrong? This is my favorite giveaway by far. I've owned three ZR2s over the past three years, and this is my magnum opus, the AT4X. I want it but I'm giving it to you. Hit it up in the description, boys, and let's change your life. A new day came out here. I was just like, you know what? Maybe I can just tinker with this thing on my own, try and pull the drum brake off, see what I need to do, repack a bearing, whatever. But you know what? We got some spinach. We got some spinach there. I'm sure it looks like hell inside of this drum brake, but you know what? I don't got time for that, so we gotta just send it. And I have work to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap the bad tire back on because it still holds air. It's gonna be a little bumpy with that flat spot on it. Might make some noise, but you know what? Just the way it is. The tire is already shot, so it's not that big of a deal if it blows out. So I'll see you guys in my house. Oh my God, my neighbor's gotta be laughing at me. Look at this concoction. There's way more branches than I thought it was gonna be. Holy smokes. And I kinda had this envision where it's like, I'll just throw a bunch of ratchet straps over. It'll be super easy to tie down. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This, this might not be good. Hopefully I can change someone's life here. If you guys never know how to rethread a ratchet strap, the strap end comes out of the ratchet itself. It's so easy. I line it up like this where I can see both sides. You just thread it through one time like this. Once it's through like that, coming out on the other side, you're good. Just throw this end back over. You're good to tighten. Your way is right. Everyone else's way is wrong. That's just how I do it. And if that pisses you off, you should see how I wrap up extension cords. Wait, I almost forgot my safety lights. Oh yeah, now I'm safe. I think, I think we did good. I love the cameras. Did I mention I love the cameras? Here, now we get to see under the truck. Bam, looks good. This trailer is already coming in handy. I mean, it cleared the entire front yard, took care of that, no problem. And even in its current state where it's in pretty rough shape. Uh, I still have high hopes for it here. I want to restore the trailer 
and to start making some serious money with it. So I'm going to test out this little business model I've been seeing on, I mean, TikTok. You guys see it everywhere. You rent a dumpster, you can make a ton of money. We're going to see what we can do with this trailer, how much money that we're able to make off of it and have it pay itself off. But before we get to that, uh, this is its current state of repair after the snow has melted off. The boards on the, on the deck itself are just destroyed, dry rotted, no good. So that's going to need some serious work. There's also rust and the fenders are bent on both sides. So I think I'll be able to rectify all of those, even with my limited knowledge on trailer restoration. I think I can fix all this and take it from this to this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll get part two up here very, very soon. And uh, yeah, you guys just be on the lookout for that. Follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout out to Fantic. Uh, support the giveaway. T-Rex, no, it's an 84 x bad.